welcome i hope you're doing okay today i hope you're having an awesome day and today we're doing a video i was tagged in and i'm doing a response to that video on five questions now the person who tagged me or the family that tagged me is a family that's called homegrown country homestead I'm going to leave a link to a really cool video of theirs in the description below. Please, please go check out their channel. If you're not already, subscribe to them or haven't already found their channel. Uh, I encourage you to check out this link below and check out their channel. They're an awesome, awesome family. And he's doing awesome, awesome things with his kids and, and of course him and her and and uh it's just an awesome channel to be a part of and uh they're becoming really good friends of mine in this channel so uh please show your support support to them and uh and uh support their channel also i really appreciate them tagging me in this response including me in these uh five question collaboration I guess you could call it or just uh, tagging each other with these questions so without further ado let's get into these questions the first question is why do I garden well there's three reasons why I garden one is I think just like most everybody else's response is growing up somebody either their parents or grandparents or somebody and their family got them out while they were younger which is same with me my grandfather had me helping him in the garden growing up and even real 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 little I could always remember him uh, having me out in the garden with him and I actually kind of liked it because one it gave me an excuse to play in the dirt you know growing up I think you know a little boy you know, playing in the dirt's kind of fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, being able to be out there playing in the dirt, I kind of took it as that. But uh, I've always kind of enjoyed it and enjoyed helping my grandpa out. And and when I got out and started being able to get out on my own, I just continued gardening. So, but the second reason why I garden is kind of touching the first one. One, it, it's 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 fun <laughs> I think it's uh, enjoyable and very therapeutic and uh, it's just something that uh, I'm kind of addicted to so and the third reason is it gives the chance uh, like the garden I grow right here my sister-in-law lets us uh, use the property to grow a garden which I really appreciate her and uh, Everybody, as everything starts growing, everybody gets to come out, and it's kind of like a, uh, a surprise every day. You go out there and see a new bloom, or see this plant go up, and this here, and see everybody's excitement on the face, and then uh, uh, everybody kind of pitches in, uh, and it brings the family together, and it also is a way to supply. Uh, uh, some kind of food most of the time it's uh, most of the thing we get out of our garden is a lot of green beans as much as we can with the space we got but uh, it gives us a chance as a family to have something that connects us and uh, my mother-in-law is really good at canning she's helped teach me uh, the uh, last few years I got to experience uh, canning jars and and she's been doing a real good job of teaching me, so I appreciate my mother-in-law doing that. But it kind of, you know, it gives a, a fa the family connection. So uh, that's another important reason for me to uh, garden. Now, the second question is, why do you YouTube? Uh, I started doing YouTube... Uh, it's just kind of a whim of the moment thing. I just, you know, I sat there and I was thinking, you know, I got a lot of good out of YouTube. And a lot of times I watch it to do how-to. And if it wasn't for YouTube, a lot of the information that 
I got right now is being able to build this shed and and do the woodworking I do or this and that or even improving the gardening I wouldn't be able to do and so I got a lot out of YouTube so I just figured this is a way for me to give back and also contribute back to what I've taken from YouTube so it's also my way of showing other YouTube creators you know that's already out there that's been given information to show hey at least somebody's out there who not only listening to you but has benefited but is also showing what uh, he has benefited from and putting it out there for other people to do the same and benefit so keeping the, the chain going so I'm just wanting to kind of put my contribution in from what I've taken from YouTube and I'm also continually watching all these channels and still continue growing there's a lot of things I still need to learn in, in this field but uh, I consider myself a beginner because there's still a lot of things like I've never used an actual router table I just now started using a trim router I got routers and I plan on making a router table but there's uh, and I just now started using a thickness planer and different things but I kind of want the mentality of never stop growing so uh, I think doing this YouTube will also help me continue to grow and also bring you some pretty cool content as I'm growing and allow you as a viewer who's wanting to grow with me that opportunity so that's why I, I decided to do YouTube how long have you been going a, growing a garden? Well, I started helping my grandfather out when I was young. Uh, I can remember even almost as far back as kindergarten. It, it seemed like everywhere we went, I even remember one point where we lived, we traveled somewhere. I think my grandfather, a uh, uh, buddy of his or somebody let him grow on a different spot it wasn't actually at our house and we used to travel to do that garden but it seemed like grandpa no matter where we live even if it's growing tomatoes in a in a i remember when he moved down to the house uh, that my grandmother's staying in now he had a bathtub old cast iron bathtub that wasn't no good to use no more the bathtub but he filled it full of dirt and growing tomatoes and stuff in it so it seemed like no matter where he was and how small a property is he always found a way to at least grow something and uh, and so that always instilled that kind of mentality in me you know you could at least even if it's in a five gallon bucket and growing bell peppers you know you could always uh, grow something so helping my grandfather out you know ever since I was probably in fifth grade but growing my own garden is probably uh, once me and my wife uh, got us a piece of property uh, probably about maybe we've been married 13 years so I would say 12 years I've uh, been growing on my own and it's been a learning process uh, mainly because uh, I, I first started just used to just plant the plant and pay attention to plant but a lot of times paying attention to plant tells you a lot with the soil so now my garden is geared to more learning about the soil the plant is being planted in and learning how to start out the plant with success by the way you treat the soil so there would be some future gardening videos talking about that and it's something I'm still learning so I'm not a total expert on but it's something you know that uh, again I could grow with and you could grow with so and uh, what do I grow truthfully if I'm capable of growing it and our climate is growing it I would love to grow it I love all kinds of fruits and vegetables i probably would say canned beets is probably my pickled canned beets is probably my least favorite but I do like them beets if they're fresh grown and there's a few people that has cooked them there 
they're just outstanding so I don't want to knock beats off completely but uh, some things where I'm at uh, that I would love to grow I, I'm not able to just because of our climate and the fact we get a lot of humidity here especially during June and July and August so uh, there's a lot of things I would like to grow that I can't but most of the time it's a lot of green beans, a lot of hot peppers, banana peppers, bell peppers, uh, grow tomatoes, I could grow zucchini, uh, uh, cucumber, I like uh, trying to grow cantaloupe and watermelon, I haven't been too successful with those, uh, it seems like I keep trying to find a better way of doing it, but then it, I, it's it's really hard for me, I'm, something I'm still learning how to do is grow the some of the melon plants, and uh, but uh, truthfully, I would love to grow, if I had a big enough property, I would grow, if it could be put in the ground and if it could come out edible, I think I would try and grow it, I don't think I would limit myself to, but I love green beans, and uh, this gets me to my favorite part. What is your favorite thing to grow? And I think everybody who knows me would attest to this is hot peppers. I love my hot peppers. And I love bell peppers and banana peppers. But I love my hot peppers. I love making hot sauces or, or just cutting up the hot peppers and maybe putting them in a taco salad or or something or I even like to just put a bunch of the hot peppers together with maybe some of the green onions out of the garden and uh, banana pepper make a little hot pepper stir fry whatever something out uh, I, and that's something that you can even grow in a five gallon bucket you know uh, uh, is you can grow you some peppers so uh, I would say hot peppers is probably my, is, I can't grow a garden without growing my hot peppers, but again, it's not limited to just hot peppers, because I love my fried green tomatoes, I love just going out there and picking a ripe tomato and eating it, and cherry tomatoes, and I love cucumbers and anything, so I'm not just living it, but if I had to pick, just one thing, like if somebody told me you're allowed to only grow one thing right here and this is all you're allowed to grow, what would you grow? It probably, I would try and, uh, it'd probably be hot peppers. <laughs> Just to be honest, it would probably be hot peppers. So, I'm supposed to tag five people back, but I think, I'm not for sure because I'm still... Uh, new to finding channels so there might be channels out there I know know about that does gardening but most of the people that I watch that does gardening or that these questions will pertain to I know has either been tagged or made a response of this video so uh, so I hope I'm allowed to do this because I, I want to make sure I follow the rules and you're supposed to tag five more people so if you're someone out there and you're watching this and you was not tagged in this in these questions it's what do you garden and I'm gonna put these questions in the uh, comment section along with uh, homegrown country homestead uh, a video that I hope you do find the time to watch it because it is an awesome video. All his videos are awesome, but this one, uh, I'll just leave you hanging so to make you want to watch it to know what I'm talking about. If you've already watched it, watch it again because it's just an awesome video. Again, it's Homegrown Country Homestead, and they are they are super awesome. All the all these channels are super awesome, but he tagged me in these questions so. Uh, I'm I'm giving him his shout out because <laughs> he gave me one. But uh, it's an honor to be able to do this. And so it's why do you uh, why do you garden? Or you could also respond back if I could grow a garden. Why do you YouTube? Which everybody on YouTube could probably answer that question. How long have you gardened? And what do you grow? 
and what is your favorite thing to grow so if you have a YouTube channel and you want to do a video with these questions I hope I'm allowed to put this out there and I don't really know you garden this would be a really cool way for me to learn something about you so if you have a YouTube channel and you want in on these questions I and you see this I now tag you now you only know if you got tagged but if you do a video with these questions in the comment section just write the word done and I would love to watch your response with these questions because then I, I'll even learn something about you because there might be people out there I don't even know garden garden so uh, so uh, so yeah it, as far as these questions I tag anybody who's a YouTube creator that's watching this video that wants to do a response to these again I'm gonna put the questions in the comment section below and hopefully we can learn something about you and write in the comment section just the word done and I'll find your video and hopefully other people who's into these questions too will find your video through my comment section and be able to maybe learn something about you so I hope I'm allowed to put it out there like that and I hope I didn't offend anybody or anything but uh, most of the people I could tag this with as far as YouTube channels that I'm subscribed to or that I've known about has already done these questions so I don't want to re-tag them and with the same questions so I'm going to re-tag some people uh, I'm going to re-tag some people with two more questions and I'm going to get ready to answer these questions right now I'm going to tag uh, Homegrown Country Homestead with two new questions I'm going to also tag uh, Micro Homesteaders I'm going to also tag Idaho Hillbilly with uh, two new questions and I'm getting ready to answer these questions right now the first question is what is something you was taught growing up that has helped you be a better person and that you use to influence others well several people and several experiences in my life especially my grandfather my dad my uncles, different teachers, and also uh, my own experiences in trial and error growing up has taught me whenever you do something, don't do it halfway. And people will attest to this if they know me. If I decide to do something uh, and I start working on it, you know, I just. I hate running into problems and this and that, but I, I try to work through, but I, I go full force and sometimes almost too much full force, but uh, I don't like to meet anything halfway and I hope by my actions and my influences in life that I can encourage other people to do the same thing. Don't meet anything halfway. Uh, I always see my grandfather, everything he done, whether it's gardening or doing some fixing on the house or, or always uh, helping us growing up, uh, getting us up for school or, or doing everything. And he was a pastor and people he ministered to. I don't think he done anything where he met anything halfway. And my dad, he's a, he does music in the church and everything and he always had us uh doing plays and skits in the church and he always instilled doing our very best and it always encouraged me the same mentality of not meeting it halfway to give everything your very very best and uh so i really appreciate the people in my life that has instilled that in me 
sometimes that mentality has also made me stubborn a little bit but uh, I, I hope I can influence people if they want to do something to you know find or start reach their goals and don't meet it halfway and you just go with it you know and, and give it your best shot so that's what I hope I can influence people with and what is the coolest item or items you have found either yard selling flea markets or treasure hunting or etc like a used item or bargain shopping or even if you do local auctions or anything what is the coolest item that you probably or hopefully still own or owned at one point that you got yard selling flea market hunting whatever it is etc all of the above and I would have to say if I can uncover these For me, I like to find old tools that I could refurbish or give it a little bit more tender loving care and make it usable again. One thing is like this hammer. Now the handle, I replaced this hammer handle. I didn't actually fully make the handle, which I would love to do is uh, on future hammer uh, restorations I would like to make my own handles but this is an old plum uh, hammer I can't I can't see if it's in focus or not but I hope it is but uh, I was able to take the old ham handle off which it wasn't hard it, it was it was uh, very very loose and cracked all the way through and even though the color and the tone and the wood was beautiful still it just wasn't good to use as a handle anymore so I bought this hickory handle from a local hardware store and I had to do some extra shaping to it I made this neck part a little skinnier and when I got it this part here was completely straight and this was flat so I added a little contour to make my hand a little fit it a little better so I kind of did some shaping to it but it was able to uh, hang this ha hammer uh, it's actually my first try doing it and it's actually worked out pretty good as far as just around the house nailing you know uh, you're not really framing or doing anything this has actually become my favorite hammer but it's not really what I wanted to show you is my started my collection of hand planes back here this is an old one it's a Bailey Stanley and Levels I think that is company a number 27 uh, I'm not really sure I'm still learning things about hand planes but I think this is a, a either a jack plane or or a uh, or a uh, I'm not really sure I'm still learning so if somebody out there knows the proper name for this hand plane I would love to love to know know the answer so even if I get more than one giving me the answer you won't you won't hurt my feelings if there's like 20 people responding with the same answer because then I know it's the correct name if, if 20 people's going to say the same name then I know it's got to be it so if you want to leave a comment below of what this type of plane is actually called that's what I'm doing the YouTube so I can learn too so I'm interested to know the proper name I think it's a jack plane but I may be wrong but uh, I also got this it's an incomplete and I would love to find the rest of this but this is a Stanley 45 combination plane I did restore it once but sitting out here in my barn and with moisture it's kind of starting to get a rough look back to it again so uh, and I need to re-treat the handles with some boiled linseed oil or something but right now I kind of I'm not actually able to use it because I don't got no irons or blades for it 
I think this here could still right now be used if I had the proper blades for it. I think it could be used for a rabbit uh, joinery process, I think. But again, hand planes is something I'm still learning and want to continue learning. But I think these older tools like this it is the coolest thing that I could find uh, at, and what I pretty much look for when I go flea marketing or treasure hunting is I love finding these older tools. It's part of our history and if anybody wants to include uh, either where I can learn more about these hand planes or about the history of some of these I am very interested in learning more about them so if you got any information please don't hesitate to leave comments so I now again do a tag back with homegrown homestead I hope I didn't just mess your name up <laughs> homegrown country homestead uh, micro homesteaders and Idaho hillbilly with the two questions what is something you was taught growing up that has helped you be a better person and that you use to influence others and what is the coolest item or items you have found yard selling flea marketing auctions etc anything you found rummage sales whatever anything you found used that is that was the coolest find and that you also go out looking for it every chance you get if you find it you gotta have it so uh, I hope I was allowed to do that and you have officially been tagged back you have an awesome day